Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to share with you a little small haul that I did for this month of August. Here in Panama, we have a Javier um, big sale pretty much in all stores. They have, we can you can find um, this down between 20 to 50 percent off. In my local store, Farmacia La Rocha uh, is having a sale for 20 percent off on cosmetics and perfumes. And this is a beautiful bag they are giving right now. Whenever you buy a, a cosmetic or a perfume, and I want to show you what I got. Plus, um, we have now here in Panama a, another brand, makeup brand that I was very eager to find. Um, but I was, I was, since we don't have it here, I was thinking of ordering or trying to see how I get it. Now I don't because it's already here in Panama. Okay, first things first. Uh, skincare. As many of you who are following on my blog, uh, you know that I changed my skincare routine. I needed to restock my a daily favorite scrub so far on my new updated skincare routine. It's the Clean and Clear Scrub. It's for blackheads and to prevent them and help me, you know, take away all that dead skin. And it came with this uh, free cleanser from the same brand. It's the Travel Size, and I think I have used. I use this one. Before there's a little kit that brings three, and I use this one before. They just are super good and super great. So why not to have this one in case you travel? I think this is a great idea. And of course, I had to get again my, back my L'Oreal Hydra Fresh. Um, sorry, Hydra Fresh um, Gel Cream Moisturizer. This is one I have got so far. Um, this is for a combination to oily skin, which is perfect for me. I really think this is perfect for summer summertime. I don't know if I don't think it will be good for winter or fall because it gives you a very fresh feeling. So I would recommend it just for summer summertime. Uh, but here in Panama it's hot all year long and we have a lot of humidity so this is great. What I'm more excited about it is that Rimmel London is in Panama, And I got at least four items that I want to check out. Um, I, here in Panama you don't find many, as many primers as you should. I don't know, we have L'Oreal, Cover Girl, we have Maybelline, but I don't know why they don't bring uh, primers, which is very important uh, in, mostly here in Panama. With the heat and the humidity, you need to make up to stay longer. So I had to, I was able to get my hands on this one online. And this is L'Oreal Studio Secret in a, like a mousse consistency. This is really good. It really helps to um, diminish my pores, which is a big, huge problem for me. But I wanted something not. I, I want something I can get locally, not that I have to order it. And they have they since you know Rimmel's already here. I was looking for a primer, and guess what? I found it. The Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. I am very happy to try. I already tried it a few times to do with everything. I just was living like that just for video purposes. And it's really, it's really smooth. It's different from at least this one. This one, you feel like, um, how could I put it? Velvet feeling, texture in your face. And this one, you can have a feeling of silk. This is so, so good. Actually, this is lighter than this one, um, but I don't feel this one covers my pores as good as this one. So I'll still testing it. I'll let you know later. But I'm very happy to try at least a local um, primer. Um, another thing I got it was the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hours Foundation Hours. Also, because Emily Now from Beauty Broadcast has a very good uh, reviews about this too. So I wanted to try them out. I got the shade in Nude. This is too dark for me. I actually have to blend it with my True Match from L'Oreal. Sorry, but this is lighter. It's a little bit closer to my color my skin, and you see the difference. So I mix this together. It kind of like works the whole purpose. It's very close to the color of my skin. Okay, next I saw this um, bronzer. And I just love it and I said I had to have it. I already used it and I love the printing of the sun. It's so pretty. I got it in some brown and it's so pretty. It comes with, let me see if it 
space in here. That's odd. It should say, oh yeah, it's 14 grams or 0.49 ounces. Um, I like the sound printed in here. The color is super pretty. It's very close to the color on, no, well, it can't be that close to the color on my skin, but look at that. Super pigmented. I just love it. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, it's, it's just perfect. It's not too dark for me. Um, it's actually very, it, it works very well with the color of my skin. I think it's exactly two tones darker. I'm not sure, but it just looks really good. It was actually very inexpensive for a bronzer. I was just happy to have it. Um, and very funny. Finally, from Mirror of London, I got the Sexy Curves. This is a mascara that I got very curious about. And look how it is. This is why I got it. You see the three um, circles with beers that I have next to, other, to the other with the bristles. I think this is the best investment that I have done because it's so good to actually get in here. It's not, for example, oh, I'm going to make you an example with my favorite um, mascara that is the Maybelline Colossal, uh, the yellow one. I love this one for thickening. This is so awesome. You can see the difference from the bristles. It's super, they are super thick and long. But to get it in here, sometimes for me, it's very difficult. This one is so easy to get into those areas. No problem. I don't know. It's just what I was looking for. And it's great for lengthening and the uh, formula is so smooth. I love it. Um, it's supposed to be waterproof. I can't tell you really because it doesn't really say it here which is weird. Um, I got it in black. Um, I just love it. I use it only for my lower lash line. Or my lower lashes, sorry. To the slit and, uh, for lengthening and that's it. And for um, my upper lash lashes, I use the false false over here. I was very eager to get this one because a Sam from the Magic, the Mag, Magic, I think I'm butchering the name, sorry girl. Um, she said this is, this is her favorite and I was so eager to try it. I already wear it right now. It's very nice. Um, I'm still testing it, but I don't see it much different from the Colossal. I am so happy that I got it. So, yes, I got this. The Falsies from Maybelline. And I got the Sexy Core from Rimmel London. Oh, something that you should know about this one. The wand. See how bendy it is? It's awesome. Because it's so, it's easier to apply and you don't have to be worried that you're going to, you know, it, it, is it when you apply and not get all like the mascara in your crease or anything under uh, around the eye because it's more flexible. The same thing with the falsies. The falsies have also it's a blendable wand. You see the, the connection here? The little separation in here? So if you're looking for a more manageable um, mascaras, I think these are good options. Pretty much my haul. It was very small. Yeah, that's all I wanted to share, uh, share with you. What I got from um, a 20% discount. I have more information in my blog and a blog post, and I'm going to put it right here, right here, if you want to check it out. Or I'm also going to put it uh, in the description box if you want to check that out too. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot. I also got. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to excuse me that it's uh, dirty, but I needed to try it right away. I got my Samantha Chapman's um, Real Technique brushes. And you have, maybe, probably you have uh, heard um, Abby from Colors of Beauty talk about, she gave a very full review about these brushes. And I love that. I have before and I bought before. Also dirty, sorry, I used my brushes. And the Kabuki brush is awesome! I know that I, I didn't really have an idea how to use it, but this is great for contouring. You just, you know, for example, you use the bronzer, right? And you, there's the excess, and you can 
actually make a great contouring use of this. And if you just want to buff it out later, you just close it and buff it. And it's just perfect. I, for me, this is for so many uses. This is awesome. I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if they have the idea before or not, but it's so good. And this is great for um, liquid foundation. This is a stippled, a stippled, uh, stippled brush. <laughs> Sorry. Stippling brush. Stick the point. It's super soft, but it's dense enough to actually pick up the product you use it, you know, um, to apply your foundation. You can also just apply your blush. I haven't used it for powder. I think it's too small for powder. Um, for powder, I prefer something like this. Uh, bigger and fluffier so it you don't pick so much of the part you know setting powder I'm talking about setting powder and you can you know buff it and I, I want something bigger and softer than something so small like this one I think this is this is perfect for foundation creamy or liquid for me for me for my face it could be different for you. It's not the it's not the rule. I just gave my my um, opinions on this one, and I just love it. And I just love it's, isn't cute the pink color. Oh my god, so pretty. So okay, this is the one, the final item. Um, I am very happy that you are passing on my channel. I know I've been neglected a little bit, been neglected, neglecting it. She get the point. And I promise I'll have more more videos to come. Um, how do you like my first haul, official haul? And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye. Rima, uh, uh, uh. I took pretty much every day and see how, how little it is. Oh, 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 oh my god. But I am so happy. Leave my door open just to cry.